platforms are they and what is it evolving to? This is the conversation that we're going to have today. I'm joined by one amazing podcaster by the name Caleb Chalo. He uh, runs the Blind Eye podcast. Caleb, yeah. Caleb, glad to have you with us. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. let me let me have you introduce yourself the best way you want. <laughs> <laughs> I've introduced oh. you, but yes. Go yeah. ahead. Uh, first of all, I'm a child of God. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's how I introduce myself nowadays. Yeah. Uh, but I am a podcaster, full time podcaster. Uh huh. And I work in a church. You work in a church? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, as one of the um, podcasting manager. So yeah, I I, I oh, so run. Yeah. You run the podcast. For my church for and church my and church yours. Oh, and, that's my, cool. and my podcast too. So yeah. All right. Yeah. And do people hire you to 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 um you know to run theirs or set up their podcast? It's uh, it's interesting. Uh, the kind of setup that I have is we normally go to record. Uh, mm -hmm. One of my friends, his name is Yusembe, has a full set of podcast microphones mm -hmm. and everything, and cameras and everything. So uh -huh. yeah. That's where I go record my podcast. Mm -hmm. And the church has its own setup, similar like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you talk about setup, we're talking about the physical setup, you physical know, with setup. the microphones and the yeah. seats, you being comfortable and everything. Yeah. Okay. All right. So where do we start? Um, let's start with your podcast. Before we mm -hmm. talk about podcast in general, yeah. um, with yours, when did you start your podcast and why did you see the need to, to have a podcast? Oh, uh, so mine, I started around. 2020 during COVID. Oh, during COVID, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, I really had a passion about talking about a lot of things. So one of my friends used to encourage me, like, ah, I know you how you know you talk about a lot of, uh, this and this. Why can't you start a podcast about it? Mm -hmm. So I asked him what is a podcast because I didn't know what a podcast is back then. Uh, like uh -huh. I didn't know at all. Uh, he introduced to me to it, uh, showed me the ropes. Then he decided to sponsor me. And bought, bought me one of, uh, bought me two microphones, wow. which I started with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's been a journey since then. Okay, first yeah. of all, I think I need friends like that. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my circle of friends. <laughs> yeah, tell but them. But that's, that's really <laughs> they nice. They help you. <laughs> <laughs> because if they see, you know, someone who sees something in you and then helps yeah. you, uh, you know, uh, tap into that potential that you have in you to explore it. Yeah. I think that's really nice. So your podcast, tell us about it. What do you talk about? So uh, my, five se my first season, I talked about mental health issues. I realized during COVID, uh, a lot of mental health issues uh -huh. were arising because the people are, were at home doing nothing. Mm -hmm. And parents were at home. So with children, the unresolved issues, they came up during that time. Mm -hmm. So I saw the need of talking about mental health issues and educating my my that I was a teen back then and the younger youth about uh. mental health issues. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I did my first season. Uh, it went to ten episodes. I did ten episodes. So you you do your podcast in seasons. I yeah, think seasons. most people do yeah. do it in seasons. Yeah, in yeah. seasons. Yeah. So for that uh, particular one, the first one you did did in ten. I did episodes. ten episodes. Uh -huh. Just mental health issues and because I had friends who are in that in that place uh some okay. of them are committed suicide so i was like hey enough is enough right. we need to have a conversation about this thing wow let's yeah. talk about that a little bit because that's also something that you were talking about with my co-host just earlier on mm -hmm. on mental health and it's something that that everyone's talking about now yeah, yeah, yeah. so what is your take you know as a youth yourself and something that that was close to you so mm -hmm. what were you talking about in that particular podcast with friends uh we talked about gaslighting, we talked about how depression mm -hmm. uh, in, in high school, like how teachers can make you uh, feel bad about yourself, especially when they tell you you're not, it's, you, you won't do anything, you're not enough and yeah. everything. And then bullying and everything. So mm -hmm. even the politics in Kenya, how sometimes it affects our mental state yeah. and the kind of things that we engage ourselves in. So mm -hmm. that's one of the things I used to talk about. And I had a friend who did psychology. His name is Nick. So he came on board with mm -hmm. me. So we started talking about, you know, how to surpass and get help. And he actually organized different people who help. Uh, like there's Armani counseling. Okay. Like 
the kind of place, institutions, uh, institutions that, that you can get help from. Okay. So it was really interesting to see people actually tuning in and listening and even people engaging in the conversation. So oh, I like that. Actu yeah. I was actually coming to that. So, like, how was the response like? Did people, you know, how, how, how do you get feedback from a podcast, by the way? Uh, and, uh, you know, <laughs> how was the reception like? Uh, the feedback. Uh, when you use Spotify for podcasters, there's normally a place where you can allow people to comment. Mm -hmm. So from the comments, you get the response. Our Instagram, I used to post on Instagram. I have a page on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I used to post and pose questions on Instagram and people will respond. So okay. it's get, it got more uh, attraction through that. Like especially Instagram, I, I got a lot of uh, feedback from Instagram okay. mostly. And my WhatsApp too, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I love it. So it's podcast, yes. It's yeah. on Spotify, yes. Yeah. But you use multiple, multiple platforms yeah. to, to sell it and people yeah. consume it differently because if I'm mm -hmm. more on Spotify, then I can get it on Instagram. Yeah. I'm not on Instagram, then I have your number. So yeah. one or the other, I still consume <laughs> <laughs> your content. I think yeah. that's the beauty of uh, multimedia now, yeah. so, you know, the digital media. Mm -hmm. There are so many different ways of you getting content. Um, tell us about a uh, podcast, a podcaster's journey. How is it? How is it like first for someone to, to start <coughs> up uh, a podcast, someone who's interested yeah. in podcasting? Yeah. What do they need to do? How do they need to go about it? Do you go live? Is it usually recorded? Give us the details of it. So, for example, me, my friends bought me microphones. So after him bought me the microphones, I didn't. I didn't know, like, I didn't do my full research on podcasting, uh -huh. but later on I realized, oh, this is something that I, I need to do my research on. Mm. So after having the microphones and everything, you definitely need the microphones. The microphones are the key. The, the hearts of it. Yeah, <laughs> the key. If you can't afford a microphone, I, I can advise you to buy a lapel mic because uh, some of my friends started with lapel mics. Uh because the audio audio quality is supposed Key. to be the, the because exactly. people are just for, for yeah. especially for spotify people are just listening, listening in yeah so if the sound is bad then i'm not consuming your content Definitely. all right <laughs> what, Definitely. what types of mics are, are best you know road, now that you've used? uh road microphones road, road microphone. microphones but they're quite expensive a hundred and something k so that's th that's one that's one microphone. Road mic microphone. One. <laughs> one. Okay. One. <laughs> so you need money. <laughs> you need a lot of money and funding. Okay. But uh, that's why I'm saying, if you, you can can't afford, then start with a lapel microphone because mm -hmm. a lapel microphone is easier to access nowadays. Mm -hmm. And if you have a good phone, then you're good to go because mm -hmm. if you have a good phone... That and then a room that is not yeah, noisy. Is, is eco-friendly, then mm -hmm. you're, you're set. Okay. Uh, another thing, if you have people who can help you out, like if you have friends who are in the media sector, they can help you to set up how you can go about it because most of my friends are in media, mm -hmm. so they helped me out. Okay. So now yeah. we have good networks. We're yeah. talking about networks. <laughs> Networking. <laughs> good. So yeah, it helped me a lot, like mm. having friends even coming on board to help me out okay. with it. Mm -hmm. So the journey, it's not easy. I can tell you for a fact, you won't get paid easily. Especially yeah. with Spotify, I think in Africa they are not much invested yet. Okay, but so it's not as yeah, but you have a lot of investors right now in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, Baraza Media Lab, there is uh, mm -hmm. like the African podcasters who are making it hap happen mm -hmm. for us right now. Okay. Like. Especially Baraza Media Lab. Ooh, so how are they helping people. you exactly? How are they helping podcasters? They have a space, like a huge space, a mass space of all, all types of equipments, mm -hmm. cameras, and all you need to is just to get a membership card and then that's it. You can record for a, a whole year. All and right. they do your editing for your video and your audio. Wow. Like the the best right now, like ah. I know that they're, they're really big, Baraza Media Lab, but yeah. the membership is around twelve thousand. Yeah, twelve thousand. I think yeah. that's affordable. You yeah, know? that's affordable. Instead of if you do if you can't afford you and we're not uh, advertising or sponsoring. Yeah. <laughs> <We're not laughs> so you if you can't buy your equipment, you just go there and you get everything that you need, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Which is quite nice. So that helps. That helps. Mm -hmm. And if you have friends like me, oh, of course. 
then they better can for help you. you. <laughs> yeah, better for you. You know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So it's a good space to be around, especially uh, the moment I involved, I entered in the podcasting world. Started following Adele and Mentor, uh, Man, Man Talk. You see, those kind mm -hmm. of people help me throughout to navigate my my own space. Okay. The kind of contact they are uh, the producing is not the kind of contact, but we're in the same space. Uh -huh. So the more we engage together, the more we help each other out to mm -hmm. navigate this space together. By, by engaging, um, you mean you're listening into them? Yeah, listening to the audio. Or you actually are in contact with them? One, Adele, uh, uh -huh. she's helping me out okay. with some few things. But mm -hmm. yeah, her kind of podcasting is storytelling, which is so interesting. Mine yeah. is me and my friend talking yeah. and inviting other friends to come on board and talk like with us. Like having a chat, yeah. you know. Yeah. kind of thing okay uh -huh. that's quite interesting exactly. so you have learned that i'm, I'm getting the aspect of also <coughs> just learning from those that are already there yeah. but, but you know for a starter if you're you're just starting then you need to 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 engage with others co the content of others and yeah. learn from them right exactly that helps you yeah all right and uh, you know getting uh listenership now for what but how do you how do you go about it uh for example uh for spotify for for podcasters, mm -hmm. uh, it helps you uh, spread your content in different platforms. So there's uh, Apple Music, mm -hmm. there's uh, Deezer, and all those listening platforms. So it helps you spread your content mm -hmm. there. Okay. But the m if you want to grow your listenership, you have to be consistent. Okay, that's consistency. Is key. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So a lot of people will post once, uh, and then they see they have two listeners, and they give up. Me, the first time I had two listeners, me, my, myself, <laughs> and my friend. <laughs> I two, you two, <laughs> two, <laughs> two uh -huh. listeners, but it grew from two, and now I'm at hundred k listeners. Ooh, look at that! That's that's good. So oh. I was like, ooh, I didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. for myself because I had to keep on posting, keep on posting and telling my friend to repost. When I re when my friend reposts, so mm -hmm. it gets more attraction towards it. So that's how you grow your listenership mm -hmm. by spreading your content out. Because wow. if you keep it to yourself, then how is it growing, first yeah. of all? And how your marketing strategy... Right now I'm looking at open, uh, starting my website for the podcast mm -hmm. so that we could uh, we start going live there's another platform called Rambo, which is a very good platform, especially for young guys, mm -hmm. if you want to go live stream and get paid okay. at the same time. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, Spotify doesn't give uh, the um, opportunity to go live, it does it? Yeah, uh, it, you can actually go live when you're recording. Uh -huh. So there's no space for editing. If you're a person okay. who wants to edit your content, there's no space so for editing. So everything goes like everything what goes. we're doing now. Whatever, whatever you say, say it goes <laughs> live. <laughs> Clear. Okay, so it depends <laughs> on your preference. Exactly. You can, okay. So you can pre-record, then edit it, then post on Spotify because it has a space for posting mm -hmm. directly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's something. So now you're looking to expand yourself. You're looking to expand. Yeah. Get your website and then now go to website the website and mm -hmm. then start going live. Okay. Yeah, to get more traction at the same time. Yeah, because when yeah. you go live, you get paid for. Yeah. Is it the numbers of the people numbers, that are live yeah. that the numbers get you paid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it um that's my like that's my goal now like that's what I'm heading yeah. towards too. All right, I get you. Yeah. So now uh, currently, does it does it pay, um, Spotify with your a hundred a hundred k viewers? Do you get paid for it? Certainly not yet. Ooh. Uh, yeah. In in here in Kenya, I think uh, Spotify is not as I said earlier. It's not quite invested yet in africa uh, yeah in africa mm -hmm. but that's what i'm saying the other people who are trying as much as to make it possible for africans to get paid right. for their content mm -hmm. but how am i getting paid my job and myself <laughs> <laughs> your job and yourself yeah i'm i'm making sure that i invest as much as i, as I can in myself mm -hmm. to make content out instead of waiting for other people to pay me for it Mm -hmm. So yeah, I have to build myself first. Okay, so yeah. you do you do you have a, a job that you do apart yeah. from podcasting? Yeah, for podcasting. So okay, investing in yourself, I love that. Yeah. For uh, apart from Spotify, what other um, streaming platforms or is it a good or you would you <coughs> recommend for podcasters? Podcasters, uh, mm -hmm. 
I don't know. Uh, there's, I forgot the name, but there's one platform, but it's upcoming, but mm -hmm. you have to like uh, send your content there. Uh, what is it now? I forgot the name of this platform. But okay. the, mm -hmm. I think Semabox, there's a platform, uh, Semabox are coming up with the, their own platform. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. I know, I'm not sure when, but they're opening an app for Africans wow. to stream live their content and get paid for it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, there are people who are actually investing in Okay, in so this. it's a space that's actually growing <coughs> and there's yeah, exactly. potential in it, yeah. you know, for payments and, uh, you know, making money in the creative, because this creative is creative world, economy, yeah. yeah. So there's potential, a lot yeah. of potential in it, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. There is. Okay, so now I'm um, talking about um, diversifying your content. So for podcast, we, we've seen podcasts that are live on other digital platforms, yeah. like it would be, you know, it's just the mics, you, but then you're on YouTube. So how, how do you differentiate podcasting from vlogging? <laughs> again <laughs> how would you define so differentiate i don't it? know with this our current generation it's just <laughs> the people who want to see video uh, people who want to listen to just audio so you have to go with the kind of trend that is going through right? for example right now mm -hmm. in kenya people li they love visual like they love seeing rather than listening mm -hmm. uh, so most people will find them on youtube so i'll have to when i'm doing my own setup i'll have to have cameras around so that people actually see me as I talk. At the same time, the same content that I've created, I put it on audio mm -hmm. alone. But for me, I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of old-fashioned nowadays. <laughs> I prefer this. I prefer audio rather than visual because Why? with audio there's more storyline. Like this, the kind of authentic, authentic, it, it is like people listening. It's just amazing. It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's <laughs> a very different experience. Yeah. It's like listening to music. Like when I'm cooking or when I'm doing my own things or in, in the car, there's traffic. Instead of watching, I just listen. Yeah, you can just have your AirPods on. Yeah, and, and listen. To, you know. Exactly. Okay. Rather than having something to watch. Mm -hmm. But uh, the kind of generation that we're in right now, people want to see. Mm -hmm. so are like they who is this voice <laughs> behind who is the, what is the, what yeah. is the face behind this voice yeah so you, you have know? to you have to you have to you have to <laughs> but me i'm trying i didn't post a lot of videos uh -huh. on youtube uh i don't know why you, i think you should I, I have a lot of videos <laughs> i have a lot of videos pending that you're yet to post yeah but all the contents it's in spotify already so <laughs> yeah i don't know well you you just you know wh when you get it when you are ready for 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 youtube and the video yeah. and you'll get there because i understand for there are some people it's the same for journalists with tv and radio yeah. some just prefer radio and just radio because exactly you know you're very authentic uh, and i get that bit but now um is that a challenge? Because I know with audio now you have to be very descriptive. You know, for TV, I can just move my hands and you can just <laughs> see my face and you will know that I'm very passionate about what I'm saying. But for, for audio, you need you need extra, right? Yeah. How do you give this extra now when you, you do No, the good thing, I have a good co-host. And my manager, the guy who manages me, is very quite loud. So his name is Jerry. So uh -huh. this guy is, they dread the conversation. When you're having a conversation, you can list, like this. There's that kind of freedom that we have that we as friends, we can talk about anything and everything. Right. So the moment we start talking, it's mm -hmm. like we haven't seen each other. We see each other like o on a daily, but yeah. at the same time when we meet mm -hmm. and sit down and have a conversation about things, mm -hmm. it just, there's something different that happens. It's like, it's just magical. I can say the word just magical. Just magical. Because okay. the kind of conversations people are tapping into right now, mm -hmm. it's different and nice at the same time. So. Mm -hmm. I would tell people, young guys, if you want to invest or uh, want to join the audio space, please join the audio space rather than visual because audio, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything. Audio is everything. Well, yeah. that, that's for you to decide which one do you prefer. But yeah, okay. Sapko would, uh, dis would agree with you. My <laughs> host would agree with you because yeah. he loves radio a lot. Mm -hmm. But I know for, for some reason I prefer visuals myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't mind both, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, now to content creation. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, coming up with something that you want to talk about because you also need to know some, you know, how do you come up with content that will um, bring, um, you know, traction to your to your podcast that will 
impact or what's your aim when you come up with content? Is it impact? Is it entertainment? What exactly do you do you aim at? I aim mostly in impact because impact is everything. Because uh, I, I was, one day, I can share this, one day mm -hmm. I was just randomly walking and then somebody approached me and, and, and told me, I've been listening to your podcast, actually it's helping me out. I didn't know oh. that I was struggling with mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And he, she told me, I get you, I understand you. I was like, ooh. Wow. 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 So that's kind of the, that's the kind of thing that makes me want to continue producing the content. Mm -hmm. That's why I have friends who are actually good people ca on coming up with content. Like they script everything like from A to Z uh -huh. directly. This, so this is what we're talking about and this is how we should go about it. But they give me the freedom even of exp expressing myself as an individual so mm. yeah i love that tell me about it so you have a team you yeah you work i have a team you i don't work alone you don't work alone, <laughs> don't work alone. that's <laughs> something <laughs> don't work alone. so you have a team yeah. and then that they they script so before you actually go and just you people just don't go and talk to yeah, any just, guys mic on so yeah. you decide beforehand what, what you want to talk about yeah. you script do you, uh, by scripting i know it's not word to word but yeah. it's, uh, it's a sort map. of an outline yeah. of what you want to talk about exactly uh -huh. okay. so for example my second season which i did i finished last year we we're talking about finding god mm -hmm. so uh, my my manager decided you know there is a conversation like, especially young people are trying to find something in their lives so we decided because i'm personally I was struggling with my my Christian work, so I was like, mm -hmm. oh, we should talk about it, actually finding God in our different spaces that we're going through. Okay. And then we talk about adulting. You know, very adulting is very hard right yeah. now. <laughs> like complicated. Very, at the same time, finding God in that space of growing mm -hmm. as an individual. So okay. when, they came, when he came up with the content, I was like, oh, this is actually really nice. I didn't see this coming, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. So who comes up with the content? Your my manager? My manager, Jerry. Uh-huh. And then yeah. you guys now. Then we, we sit down, we go through it first of all and mm -hmm. see how we'll go about it. And then we sit down, then he gives us the he gives us the freedom of even opening up and expressing ourselves. Expressing yourself yeah. the best way you can yeah. so that it's authentic. So mm -hmm. it's something, you know, that you can relate to. So when you relate to it, then people can also relate to yeah. you. know, people relate to it. And yeah. that's how you get people consuming your content, right? Yeah. Okay. Tell us what is your best uh, from all the episodes, the seasons that you've had since yeah. 2020. <laughs> that's a long time <laughs> ago. Almost uh, four years now. 2024 yeah. will be the fourth. So uh, what has been your best season, a uh, content that you created? And then you tell us why. I think I'm not yet in my best season. Ooh, but I can okay. say my season two was like the ooh moment, the ah moment. Because what was it about? I decided to follow my heart, like talking about God. Because mm -hmm. uh, not a lot of young guys talk about God right now. True. People are in different religions and everything, but my ooh moment, or I'm saying my ah moment is because we went to that direction because we had a debate. Do we go in this direction or don't we go in this direction? Uh -huh. Will people listen in or won't people listen in? Will people stop following us? But you know, I got a lot of criticism from people uh -huh. that I expected, but at the same time I saw, oh, so you guys actually listen. You actually listen. Yeah, <laughs> because you, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it makes me want to produce more of that content because they're actually listening. They say they, I'm not listening, but they actually Listen. Listen, okay. Yeah. So even getting criticism yeah. means the people are listening in. That's yeah. that's feedback. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. very interesting. Yeah. And um, now back to consistency. How lo how how do you maintain consistency? Or how before that? What how how um how many times do you post in like a week or in a month? What's we your pattern like? Oh, uh, so for us, you normally record once every month. We record like uh, let's mm. say for example. 10 episodes at one day. So it's a full day of recording. Oh, Just okay. press you just block your day. full day of mm -hmm. recording. And then from there, daily, every week, we post, we post, we post, we post. So you post weekly? Weekly, yeah. Which, what day do you post? Do you have a On Fridays, uh, we normally pr post on Fridays or Saturdays. Mm -hmm. It depends on if we have the, the audio edited uh, earlier. Mm -hmm. But you'll find by Friday, on Saturdays, normally post. Okay, yeah. so there's that. Um, the you know, 
someone might say, oh, we don't have time, nini, nini. But you just block a day. That block it, a day. It's very flexible. <laughs> block a day that is flexible. And just and record, record, you know. Record and talk about everything. And then. Now you, yeah, you post then it you at post, your. Yeah. At your own time. At your own time, at your convenience. Yeah. So that's okay. That's that's good. So w what what is it about consistency? Why why should I be consistent? Why should I not post uh, this week? Fail to post next week. What's the power of consistency? The power of consistency is that you'll get more people listening in, and people will be loyal to you because mm -hmm. uh, I will automatically know on Fridays. Oh, I listening. I uh, I always listen to this type of podcast. Mm -hmm. So on Fridays, automatically when I post, somebody will who has been following me will know, oh, on Friday, there's something out for me to listen in. So they mm -hmm. will definitely go and listen in. Okay. So the more people listen in, the more you get traction, and you personally will grow as an individual because you'll want to produce more content for them to listen mm -hmm. in. And it makes you accountable. Yeah, you know that. For your listeners. <laughs> yeah. It's like you have been employed. I have to deliver. Yeah, I people have to are, deliver. You know, <laughs> people, <laughs> people are, are following me, so me. they're expecting something <laughs> yeah. from me. Okay, that's that's something. <laughs> yeah. And how do you how do you ensure, ensure you've talked about growth? So how do you ensure that you're growing yourself so that you just don't come and give people rumors? Okay, you can give your <laughs> you can tell any podcast can be about anything. Yeah. But you, fr you know you could be a credible source of information. How do you ensure uh, you grow? know your source like know exactly where your source is coming from don't just go there and just talking randomly because mm -hmm. people have different opinions right but you have to like go research about what you want to talk about research is key so mm -hmm. that you can grow as a person because if you don't research about anything then it means you're lacking information so the kind of information that you're giving out is wrong mm -hmm. so you have to do your research so, so that you can give the right information to people Right. Yeah. Great. All right. So as we finish, mm -hmm. what where do you see the podcasting space <coughs> going or evolving to? Oh, I see it becoming something big, mm -hmm. unexpected, especially in Africa. It's something unexpected. I didn't see it becoming a big thing as it is right now, but it is the next big thing. So I'll tell every young person to invest on it. Okay. Because in the next five years. Trust me, people making billions from that thing, mm -hmm. billions of cash from it. Okay, so yeah. this is the right place this to is invest the right in. Place to invest right All right, okay, good, good enough. I think yeah. that's <laughs> <laughs> that's a good place to close it, yeah, right, Kalam? Yeah, Unless you want you. to add something. No, I'm okay. You're I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Where can people follow you if uh, for your podcast, especially Spotify, Apple Music, mm. uh, Deezer, and Instagram, of course, <laughs> definitely. At the Blind Eye podcast. The Blind yeah. Eye. Please the blind spell eye. the Blind Eye because I know it's not the. No. It's it's the Blind Eye, but it has an uh, underscore in between yeah. the I and the the L. The N between. Yeah, the the Blind like the bl enough underscore I. Okay. The blind Eye. The Blind Eye. Oh, people spell it the Blind Eye, but <laughs> it's the Blind Eye. <laughs> however yeah. you want to. However you want to. As spell long as you get there. Uh, yeah. Okay. All across all social media oh, platforms. All social medias, even in Twitter, on mm -hmm. Twitter and uh, X. X now, is it called X? It's X right. now, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> we have moved on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, yeah. Caleb, for coming on board and sharing this amazing insights. Yeah. Yeah, we will definitely follow your podcast and listen to your content. Seems Thanks great. so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that has been Caleb Chalo. Um, he is the one who runs the Blind Eye podcast. Uh, follow him across all platforms, Spotify, get him on Instagram and wherever. I'm sure you, when you get to Instagram or Spotify, you'll know where the other, um, wh where the other uh, platforms are. So make sure you follow him for that. Now we're going to take a short break and then Brand Circle will be coming up next with another interesting conversation. So stick with us. <laughs>